Okay, this is 10 good things about the Philippines. Um, if you haven't watched the, the 10 negative ones, I recommend doing it because it will give you both perspectives. Um, number one, cheap rents. Shop around for rents. Um, what I normally do is I'll always ponder on something. They'll get your telephone number and you can come. They'll come back to you with a better price. But shop around because the prices are all over the place. And the more you shop around, the better the deal you get. Um, I think our first apartment was three thousand pesos a month, uh, which back then was. I don't know, about 40 pounds a month? Yeah, about 40. Less than 50 pounds a month. Um, for a one bedroom flat. And Grumble. But well, it wasn't a flat, it was a one bedroom house. Um, but I know other people are paying 10, 15 thousand. Uh, for the same sizes, but not in the... Well, we actually had a better location as well, because I was in a private compound. Um, that's number one. Number two... If you get your 13A, which is the residency visa, you will find that you get treated a bit better than a lot of the tourists. The reason for that is they have so many sex tourists in the Philippines. Nobody wants to talk about it. It's the big taboo subject. But the fact is, if there's a myth there's a problem, it gets fixed. If you ignore it, people make money off it. Um, myself, I think it needs dealing with, but at the end of the day it's the Philippines government you need to make that decision but if you're a resident visa if you've got a 13A resident visa things like getting to the airport you can go in the OFW queue which means when everyone else is queuing there's tourists and foreigners you can just streamline straight round and be in and out uh, be out the airport in two minutes um, the downside of that is you do have to pay uh, when you leave the country <laughs> a lot more than a tourist does um, number three Filipinos are nice. Filipino people are generally nice. Um, and if you're single, you're not going to find it hard to um, get in a new relationship. What you need to do is just think smart. A lot of people just think uh, like this, you know, with the wrong thing, if you know what I mean. And they end up in relationships they don't really want to be in. Um, there's a golden rule, I always say. There's nothing that says you have to get married. And the reason I say that is meet people but don't commit to anything. Because um, if you commit to something, Filipinos take it very seriously. Um, just don't get into it unless you're serious. And the only way I would not say meet somebody and within two weeks get married or something, I would say take your time. There's no rush. You'll find that people are rushing you. <laughs> but don't don't rush it. Take your time. Understand each other. Develop a relationship properly. Um, because the first two weeks, the honeymoon period, fantastic. Then you realize she snores, she does this, she can't cook, blah blah blah. Well, you know, whatever will irritate you will very likely happen because you haven't spent enough time together. Um, but you can meet lots of uh, attractive. Um, attractive women finding intelligent women takes a bit more uh, time which is another reason why I always say take your time if you want to meet the, the person that you want to meet um, I think we're on number 3 or 4 uh, number 4 getting around is cheap um, the Philippines is on a tier system if you take jeepneys everywhere you'll find it's very cheap to get around the Philippines if you take a taxi it's a way more expensive. If you take a private car, it's more expensive. Personally, I go by motorbike. I do have a 4x4 as well. Um, but we, I use the motorbike mainly because I like riding a motorbike and B is faster. But I find that I could put the fuel in the 4x4 for a day or I could put fuel in the motorbike for a week. <laughs> so, but relatively it's cheap. Um, if you stick to jeepneys and stuff, you don't really need the expense of owning a car. Also, the headaches of worrying about it being stolen. Ours, ours is in a secure compound, but I've known people have cars stolen. So, also getting dents, um, car parks. I think some people get um, driving licenses out of cornflakes packets sometimes because 
You just have to sit there and watch them reverse, and you'll see what happens. Um, five. There's plenty of shops in the Philippines. Um, there's there's malls everywhere. Well, although there's a lot of the products are substandard because there's Chinese imports, I do like going around some of the little restaurants that are around. Um, just because there's a bit of variety from the West. Um, the food's not fantastic. Um, to get that, you have to go to a better restaurant. But you'll find that you can go. The, I mean, in Cebu, there must be at least a thousand restaurants around. But it's the variety. Um, if you go to Filipino restaurants, you're going to get Filipino food in every single one that's very similar. But at the same time, if you're looking for Thai food or whatever, they're there. I just like trying different things and, uh, and new varieties of food I haven't tried before so you can get that um, that's one of the good things about the Philippines it doesn't have the the quality there um, because ingredients can be hard to come by also a lot of the locals won't pay the price of good ingredients unless you go up market um, and even then it's a bit ropey sometimes <laughs> uh... number six dentist works cheap I got my uh, teeth fixed here. Um, they cut that cost me about twenty thousand pesos, I think, which is about three hundred pounds. Um, I think my father paid about four hundred pound plus for each tooth. So you can imagine that's that's took three hundred, and for similar work it cost him eight hundred. Um, so dentist works cheap. It's also easy to find a dentist. You walk in off the street. Um, in fact, most medical stuff's available. Um, gastric bands are cheap to get done. I know uh, two people have got those. It's helped them lose weight, and they're happy with it. Uh, so that's that one. Uh, on number seven. Number seven. Uh, Water can be free because um, most places have a hand pump. Why that's important is that um, it's it's like most things in the Philippines. You can live to whatever means you have. Um, for example, we have electric pumps. We've also got water mains off the reservoir, but we could actually just get free water. Um, we go with the reservoir because we have a huge water tank that fills up every day um, and that supplies all the houses, the house and the apartments but if you were broke you could just get a water pump and just you know use that and that's pretty much the Philippines it's like electric you'll find if you live in a little place the electric doesn't cost a lot the bigger you get the bigger your bill gets it, it seems to be um, the more you use, the more you pay. And I'm not about like if you got um, something twice the size, you pay twice the bill. It could be twice the size and three times the bill. <laughs> so if you live within your means, you'll find that it's quite easy to live cheap. If you start getting a bit more extravagant, the price goes up with it. Um, I think the Philippines market is tapped into the fact that people tap into the electrics and other things. So the the more money you have and the more expensive you live, the more you charge they might they charge you for it. So. so it's just something to be aware of. But at the same time, if you're just living on your own in a one bedroom place, it's cheap. It's dirt cheap. Same with eating out because um, the first first year or so um, I was there, I used to have a lot of uh, white rice and chicken it was like I don't know less than two pounds a day in food I mean you can't grumble at that for two people <laughs> um, number eight the weather is fantastic um, there's nothing I love more than when I'm working late at night and I look out my bedroom window to watch the, the sun coming up it's still quite cool, but at the same time you get that like haze, the purple, purpley sort of haze um, as the sun's coming up. And it's just nice to watch. Um, 
when the weather's good, it's fantastic. Um, I love the weather. Uh, Ten, the beaches. Um, it's not only the beaches that are great, but you have to get away from the cities to enjoy them. But also the sea. You got you know there's diving, there is whale watching, there is um, the sanctuaries you can visit where they've got bird life and stuff like that. Philippines has a lot to offer for tourism, um, not just local tourism, but it international. I think it undersells itself a lot of the time. Um, but I found going going away from the cities, everywhere I've visited, it's always been a fantastic experience. I've never been anywhere I didn't like in the Philippines. Um, even in the bad areas of town, I've always found the people nice. Um, and I think that's the thing with the Philippines. If you're willing to embrace it, it'll embrace you. Um, You've just got to be able to open yourself up to something new, change of experience, um, being flexible, being respectful of other people. Um, the Philippines can be an amazing place to visit. I, I like visiting them. I like living there. Um, if the kids weren't going to go to school soon, I think I might actually still be there. Okay, thanks for watching.